Hello again. Welcome to episode four of uh, John's Record Roulette for 2021. I won't be referencing numbers much longer. I just figure, you know, it makes me feel a little bit better as I, I feel like I'm doing something. So if I say a number, it makes me feel like I've actually accomplished something so far. <laughs> um, so the pick of today is from a Bill Coughlin. I'm assuming I'm saying your last name correctly. I apologize if not. Number 13, 27 is your choice, and you chose David Crosby's If I Could Only Remember My Name from 1971. Um, if you could hear in the background, my copy has got, a, got some pops, but um, you know, that's how I like it. And uh, I'm used to it, as it were. I probably could get a new copy, but I haven't broken down to that yet. Anyways, debut solo album from Mr. Crosby. Like I said, 1971, this was kind of in the wake of all the CSN craziness. 1970, we saw Deja Vu, we also saw Stephen Stills' solo album. 71 was Graham Nash's Songs for Beginners. Also, Neil Young put out uh, After the Gold Rush in 70 as well. So, not cashing in as it were. Um, this was like a who's who's of all of that stuff. Everybody was on this album, from Joni Mitchell to members of Santana, Jefferson Starship, and airplane to uh, Quicksilver and all of the other members of CSN except for Stephen Stills which is strange I don't know if there's a story there or not but whatever it doesn't really matter anyways this album is freaking amazing it is a lost classic it went to number 12 in the charts but uh, I know it was certified gold it didn't really do a heck of a lot it had single a uh, couple two singles released went as far as like 95 of, of the canon of solo releases, this was like the less uh, popular, as it were. But it has held up so powerfully. Um, it's just a stellar record. It's been re-released a few times, and uh, there was a review, I think, back in 2010, that um, they compared it to Nick Drake and metal-era Pink Floyd, which I actually can endorse. If you like... Um, really kind of pastoral folk and or um, some weird psych, this is your record. And I can't, can't recommend it enough. Anyways, I think I've said everything that I need to say about this album. Um, please check it out. It's worth it. And thank you again, Bill. Thanks for playing. Till next time.